Good evening, YouTubers. And what I've got right here is a one ounce rhodium bullion bar. Uh, this is 999.0 fine rhodium from the Baird Mint Company. And I'm really excited to have this bar because it's really unique and a very rare element. Now, just in case, like, you fell asleep during science class when you're studying the elements and the teacher smacked you upside the head to wake you up like he did me, um, and you don't know what rhodium is, Rhodium is a precious metal. It is technically a precious metal. It belongs to the platinum gang. If you know platinum and palladium are homies, well, rhodium is a homie with platinum. So this is really uh, a unique precious metal. But this type, rhodium, is far more rare than platinum and palladium. And not as easy to acquire. So I'm glad to have this. Now, the assay card, if this stupid camera can focus, Baird Mint Company right here, and below that is some words, and then if we go down, scroll down, Baird and Company, Bullion Merchants, London, one ounce, 999.0 fine rhodium, and then the cereal bar, and down below is just a sticker that's not originally part of the assay card, and yeah, the back of it, it if my camera could focus again, okay, this is uh, a bunch of stamps and all that. And it really just talks about the history of the company. It doesn't talk about rhodium. So, yeah, and website and stuff. It's, uh, okay, it's a good-looking assay card, but there's one issue with this assay card, and it's a big one. And it makes this assay card suck ass. But Baird Mint is known to make uh, defective assay cards. And this one in particular, if you see tape, is uh, on both sides of these is because the the glue or whatever seemed to come off and you could see you could probably um, scoot this uh, take out this uh, this bar out of this assay card now assay cards are supposed, supposed to seal shut these uh, these elements and so Baird Mint doesn't do a good job in this area I've seen some photos on Google of this same bar but with like staples on the sides of these. So these are known to, you know, come apart. It's like the company, they just put Elmer's glue on this or something. But yeah, the SA card sucks, but this bar is pretty neat. Although I wouldn't say rhodium's a nice looking metal. But anyways, it is a precious metal and I'm glad to have this. Now, would I recommend that most people or, you know, people in general get into investing in rhodium? My answer is no, because rhodium has a very volatile history. It's got a very unique history, um, more unique than the other precious metals. And if you bear with me right here, okay, just check this 10-year chart of rhodium. And rhodium at one time was around 10,000 bucks an ounce. See up here, this is a 10-year chart. Around 2007, 2008, it rose to 10,000 bucks an ounce. And during the 2008 mark, it just plummeted, just dropped like a rock. And since then, it hasn't really gone up or down. And right now, it's at 650 bucks an ounce. And I think rhodium has bottomed. But what does the future look for uh, look like with rhodium? Well, it's uncertain. So I'm gonna say rhodium is a like a investment, a gambling investment if that makes sense. It's not going to perform as well as gold and silver. It's, I don't believe that. But this, it could go up to $10,000 an ounce again. Or maybe even $100,000 an ounce. I don't know. But when you, when you invest in rhodium, just make sure you know that it's a gamble. And I actually bought this. When I bought this from my dealer, I was surprised he had it. But he told me a story that he bought this particular bar back in 2014 at around $1,200 an ounce. He ordered like a dozen rhodium bars from the Baird Mint Company in London, England. And he said, well, selling me this one, he lost money. He only had two left. And so I bought this at around $800, bucks, which is like over $100 over spot. So this is... Pretty pricey over spot, but it is a rare element. It's unique, and it could go up in price in the future. It may not. I don't know, but I'm taking the gamble. But anyways, that's it with this rhodium uh, video. Yeah, I do have rhodium. I did diversify out of gold and silver, but 
um, if you're going to diversify, first get gold and silver as much as you can. And then afterwards, when you got enough or when you think you got enough, you can diversify into platinum, palladium, and rhodium, but there's, there's more risk to it. So just let you know and hope you enjoyed the video and have a good day. Later.